हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट रैबीज रैबीज इज एन इन्फेक्शियस वायरल डिजीज अबाउट 99 परसेंट ऑफ केसेस आर कास्ड बाय डॉग बाइट इट इज़ फैटल वन सिम्टम्स अपीयर इट इज़ एंटायरली प्रिवेंटेबल बाय द टाइमली वैक्सीनेशन डू यू नो डू यू नो बाइट ऑफ ए रैबिड डॉग इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर नाइन्टी टू नाइन्टी ऑफ रैबीज केसेज डिजीज कैन ऑल्सो भी ट्रांसमिटेड बाय बाइट ऑफ रैबिड कैट मंकी मोंगोज जैकल एंड अदर वार्म ब्लडेड एनिमल्स what to do if bitten by an animal let's know what is to be done when you are bitten by an animal do not ignore the lick scratches wounds caused by animals do not apply chili mustard oil irritant on the bite wounds don't believe in superstitions do not pack or stitch the wound teach the children not to approach or play with stray animals prevention of rabies educate people especially children about dogs behavior to prevent bites after animal bite immediately wash the with the soap and water and take post exposure vaccination in case of a dog bite vaccination stray vaccinate stray as well as pet dogs pre exposure vaccination is advised to people handling animals and rabies and patients complete the post exposure prophylaxis course as per doctor's advice let's know what to do when bitten by animal wash the wound with soap and running water immediately apply the playable disinfectant like iodine spirit alcohol or any other household antiseptic contact your doctor timely and appro- for appropriate treatment important to know that there are two types of vaccination वर्स वन वैक्सीनेशन इज डन इंट्राडर्मल अदर वैक्सीनेशन इज डन इंट्रामस्कुलर दे आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट अप्रोचेज टेकन टेकन इन टू इफेक्ट इन डिफरेंट कंट्रीज इन इंडिया इट इज इंट्रामस्कुलर रूट विच इज मोस्ट पॉपुलरली प्रेफरेबल नो द कैटेगराइजेशन ऑफ द वाउंड्स ऑफ द रेबीज रेबीज वाउंड्स आर कैटेगराइज इन टू वन टू एंड थ्री इट वॉज द प्रीवियस क्लासीफिकेशन नाउ द न्यू क्लासीफिकेशन विच हैज़ अपियर्ड इज दैट एनी काइ टाइप ऑफ वाउंड इन विच ब्लीडिंग इज हैज़ अकर्ड इज द कंसिड एज द फैटल वाउंड एंड एंड दैट वाउंड यू हैव टू टेक मोनोक्लोनल एंटीबॉडीज टू सेव द लाइफ इट हैज़ बीन ऑब्जर्व डैट मैनी पेशेंट्स हैव डाइड इवन आफ्टर द टेकन द रेबीज वैक्सीन so the monoclonal antibodies have been considered the mainstay of the treatment in some cases you have to take monoclonal antibodies in haryana state it is given free of cost please take monoclonal antibodies in case bleeding has occurred from the wound let's know the route of uh, administration of the vaccine it is generally given in the deltoid muscle not given in the thigh gluteal region in children it is and given in the anterolateral portion of the thigh and not any other portion of the at is given it has to be taken seriously that the site of choosing the while we are injecting the vaccine it has been very very clear that it has to be given in the deltoid muscles in the adults and in anterior lateral region of the thigh in case of the children's it has been advocated that please don't believe in anybody if you are have been bitten bound by the, the dog please go immediately to the immediately immediately nearest health center and get vaccinated yourself with anti tetanus injection and uh, anti rabid anti rabies vaccination and plus monoclonal antibodies to save your life don't believe in anyone if someone says you should watch 10 days for the dog please don't watch anyone please get vaccinated in case symptoms appear the life uh, death is sure you cannot save the life of anyone it is a fatal disease but preventable by taking proper t- le vaccination and timely vaccination so oh, let's know about the side effects of the vaccine till date no documented effects of the side effects of the vaccination has been observed however uh, you have to take if you have to take the vaccination 6 months after if you have by, you have been bitten by the dog uh, uh, second time otherwise you have no if within the 6 months of the taking vaccination if dogs bites you again then there is no need to take, get vaccinated again but after 6 months you have to take get vaccinated again let's know what to do at the wound please don't stitch the wound don't bandage the wound it has to be kept open 
the wound has not to be stitched it has to be kept open at any time they there not should not be no sutures should be not be placed only after that in under, under the trained medical hands you should get it the wound stitched otherwise it, if it, they are too much of the complications in the wound otherwise you need not to stitch the wound or bandage the wound you have to be very careful it is the first mandatory precaution that a wound should not be stitched or bandaged if you are having a pet dog please get him vaccinated for uh, for the anti rabies injections please take precaution don't stay away the from stay, stray animals don't play with stray dogs and any other animal and take all precautions to stay away from the stray animals let's revise again when you have been bitten by a dog you should wash the wound immediately in water and should go to immediately nearest health center to get vaccinated against the rabies vex rabies and also get the anti tetanus tetanus vaccination and also the monoclonal antibodies you should get instilled in the wound so please take take care stay away from the animals live long live strong these are the same slides as shown previously these are these slides are released by the government of india ministry of health and family welfare please go through them these are black and white version previously you have seen the colored version uh, this is again shown to recapitulate about the to tell you about the and uh, rabies uh, cases and uh, prevention of rabies please stay healthy stay good stay strong